My name is Daniel and today we are going to talk about the features and apps on a smartphone. The phone I am using is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Let's look at the front view. In the front, we have an LED indicator, a proximity or a light sensor, a speaker and a front camera. Below these, we have the touch screen. And below the touch screen, we have a recent key, a home key with a fingerprint sensor and a back key. If you look at it from the top, we have a SIM card tray and a microphone. And below, we have a headset jack, a multi-purpose jack or a USB, a loudspeaker and another microphone. If you turn the phone around, we'll see a rear camera, flash and the volume keys. And below, we have an S Pen. The main antenna, the NFC antenna and the GPS antenna are all embedded inside. Now when you unlock your phone, you'll find that there are certain applications that are already installed on your phone. Let's look at some of the basic applications that you'll find on your phone. Firstly, phone to make and receive calls. Contacts, it shows all the contacts you have. Messages to send and receive messages. My files, it shows all the storage you have on your phone and helps you to access different files. Voice recorder, it helps you to record sound. Settings, it helps you to tweak your phone and adjust different settings like display, wallpapers and themes, change your password and check for software updates, etc. Internet, it helps you to access the internet. Email, it helps you to send or receive emails. Calendar, it helps you to know the date and also helps you to set reminders for different days. Calculator, it helps you to do sums and helps compute large sums that you cannot. Clock, it tells you the time, it also helps you to set alarms, different time zones and also helps you to use the stopwatch and the timer. Now other than these apps, there are also a set of apps from Samsung that are also installed on your phone. Let's look at some of them. The Galaxy Store, it's like the App Store and the Play Store but with an extra feature. It, you can also download your themes and apply them on your phone. Next is Samsung Health, it helps you to track your health, uh, the number of steps you've done and also helps you to manage your diet. S Voice, S Voice is like, like Google Assistant or Siri except it's from Samsung. S Note, S Note helps you to make memos using your S Pen. Samsung Music, helps you to play the audio files that are on your phone. Samsung Pay is a play paying platform. Now there are also apps from Google. Let's look at them. Play Store, it helps you download games, apps, movies and books. Chrome, it's a web browser. Maps, it helps you know your location and go somewhere else if you want to. Play Music, it plays music from the internet. Play Movies and TV, it shows you movies and TV shows that you can download and watch. YouTube, as you're already watching on it right now, I don't think there's an explanation. There are also apps from Microsoft. Excel, to create sheets. Word, to write documents. PowerPoint, to create presentations. And OneDrive, the place where you can download all your Microsoft documents, files, photos and videos. Below, you also have apps like the camera to take videos and photos and gallery to view all that you've taken. 